Hi, this is Mike from Flash. We get a lot of calls from homeowners asking what they can do to protect their homes during hurricane season or high wind events. Well, in this video, we're gonna talk about some of those things. We're gonna talk about things you can do in one hour, one day, or one weekend. Now, first, you're gonna to wanna to go to our website and print out the checklist. And once you do that, we can get started. So go print it. Well, we've got our checklist and we're ready to go. Now, I already see one item that I'm gonna put down on my one day project list under landscaping, and that's these trees. We've got some huge branches overhanging the house and that's scary. They're gonna come down in a high wind event, so we're gonna have those removed well before storm season. Another item we're gonna put on our one day checklist is under landscaping is this rock gravel we have here. We're gonna to wanna to replace it with mulch because in a wind event, the wind's gonna pick up this gravel and throw it right in the window. Now, one of the important parts of taking a look at our house is having a look at the roof. Now, it doesn't matter what kind of roof you have, whether it's shingles, tile, or metal. What is important is how it's attached to the house and what its condition is. Now, the great thing about this inspection is you don't actually have to get up on the roof. You can look at it from the ground with a pair of binoculars. Our binocular inspection revealed a couple more things on a roof we want to take a look at. One of them's right up here. Sure enough, we've got a loose shingle. We're going to want to talk to a professional about having this and any other loose shingles resecured on our roof. While we're up here, we're also going to take a look at our gutters and see what we need to do in preparation for storm season with those. Now, a couple items I want to look at with the gutters. I want to make sure that all the debris is removed so the water flows through them and down and away from the house. I also want to make sure that this is attached to the house securely so it doesn't blow across the yard during a storm event. Another important aspect of the home we want to take a look at are the soffits. Now this house has wooden soffits that are pretty well secured. However, a lot of homes have aluminum or vinyl soffits and we want to look at the way those are attached and enhance that attachment to keep wind-driven rain from going up in the attic and causing a lot of damage. We've moved into the attic area as part of our home inspection. Now do yourself a favor and do this early in the morning because it can get pretty hot up here. Now we're looking for a couple of things up here and mainly we want to determine how well the roof is put on and held to the house. Right away I've noticed one thing up here, what we call shiners. These are nails that go through the roof decking that didn't quite make their mark into the framing member or truss. We'll want to mark those on our checklist because that'll be addressed as a one day item later. We're also going to look down the roof framing member to where it meets the wall. And what we're looking for is a hurricane clip. That indicates that the roof to wall connection is as strong as it can be. We'll want to mark that on the list as well. Finally, during our inspection, we've noticed these staples. These are important to note because staples are no longer allowed by the building code to hold down a roofing material to the roof deck because they're not near as strong as nails can be. As we continue with the inspection of our home, we're gonna look at windows and doors. Now windows and doors are important because they're openings in our building envelope and we wanna make sure they remain secured because the last thing we want is wind and rain inside our house at the time of the storm. With regards to our windows, we wanna see if it's impact glass. We can do that by checking the etching on the window or any documentation that came with the window. When we look at our doors, we wanna make sure the hinges, the handle set, and that door operates properly and remains secured in the time of the storm. If we see anything of concern, we're gonna mark it on our checklist as a one day item. An important aspect we wanna look at while doing our inspection is our garage door. Now folks think that's oh, the garage, it doesn't matter, it's not part of the living area. However, the garage is your largest opening in your building envelope, and if the door gets breached, the wind comes in, has nowhere to go but up, and it'll take the roof right off your home. So we wanna make sure our door has some kind of horizontal bracing to resist the wind, the rollers are all in good condition, and the track is firmly attached to the walls. Okay, let's review. That inspection only took about an hour to complete. We were able to look at our landscaping, roof, gutters, soffits, windows, and doors. Now that we've got our checklist complete, please visit the Flash website to learn more about each of these projects. I'll see you next time on Protecting Your Home in a Flash.